This is why we should never go into space. Ah! Join me as we check out the awesome indie title, 8-Bit Space. <laughs> Space. It's a scary place, especially if it's an 8-bit. In today's show, we're going to be taking a look at an indie retro title. An indie retro title developed by Glass Frog Games, who is none other than Cannon Fodder. Cannon Fodder, the guy who joins us every week at Live at the Arcade and is part of this awesome retro gaming community. Now, 8-Bit Space is a 2D platformer inspired by the 8-bit genre and heavily influenced by ZX Spectrum games. In this game, you get to explore five solar systems, each with five planets. So 25 planets in total that you get to explore. And your goal? Well, your goal is to unlock a portal, mysterious portal that's just been found. Now coming along for you on this ride is your computer's AI ZX. See what he's done there? Now in each solar system, there is a temple. And in each temple, there is an artifact. Now you need these artifacts to unlock the mysterious portal. But to get access to the temple, you have to unlock it first. And to do this, you need three crystals. And so you have to search the five planets in each solar system to find the three crystals to unlock the temple to get the relic. Now, once you land on a planet and you start searching it, there's a number of crystals that you'll have to find. You have to collect 100% of the crystals to complete the planet. And then hidden around, you'll find a gem. Now, as you're jumping around the planet, collecting gems and searching out crystals, you're gonna come across enemies. And enemies are the obstacles in these games. Now, they're relatively passive in that they're not gonna go after and attack you, but they have movement patterns or attacks that you have to perfectly time in order to get past them. And this is where the challenge of the game comes in, trying to get past these enemies in a way that won't get you killed, because you have no guns in the game. All you have is your jump. And so well-timed jumps and runs are really key to this game. Now there are three difficulty levels to the game. The first has infinite lives and infinite continues. The second has three lives and infinite continues. And the hardest level has three lives and no continues. And at first the game seems relatively easy, but as you start exploring these planets, you become a little bit more brash, a little bit more overconfident. You can lose up those three lives pretty damn quickly. The levels in the games are really well designed and the jump mechanic in the game is perfect. There's a real weightiness to the animation. I love the throwback to the ZX Spectrum visuals in this game and there's even a really nice little pop culture reference in there as well. So here is the physical version that was sent to me. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually buy these, um, but let's have a look at what you get with the physical version. <laughs> this is awesome, look at this. So we've got tape cassette and we've got the uh, logo of the game the character uh, and it's been done up like a, a ZX Spectrum game uh, here it is and it's uh, oh it's a, a memory card so I'm guessing the games on there oh brilliant really nice really nice attention to detail there and then we've got the box as well and the classic tape cassette holder that's really nice. A really nice piece of artwork there to go with it. Screenshots from the game. Then we've got some stickers. So this is our character with his uh, jetpack streaming out behind him. And we've also got the logo of the game. Very cool. A very nice physical edition of the game there. <laughs>
there you go, 8-Bit Space, created by Cannon Fodder, Glass Frog Games, a stunning little ZX Spectrum homage that's available on Steam now for free 99 Go over there and pick it up and play it. It's a stunning little retro indie game, and I can't recommend it enough. Now, if you like videos like this where we look at retro gaming, game collecting, then why not consider subscribing? You can do this by clicking on a little button just below the video here. We make brand new videos every single Monday, and so that you never miss one, you can click on a little bell also just below this video. If you can't wait until then, don't worry, because we've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos, two of which you can watch over here.